Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And the point this week has to do with what you do and how you feel about what you do and how you might approach what you do if you don't like what you do. Now, all this comes from a couple of catalysts. One was a conversation with a CEO of a company I've been working with for a number of years, a very thoughtful, well-intentioned, uh, warm person who said, of his team, gosh, you know, if people aren't excited to come do the work that we do every day, they should go somewhere else. And this was said totally with empathy, not with malice. He wanted people to enjoy work as much as he enjoyed work. The other was an article that I read that talked about how we are so inclined to lead with either a question or a response about what we do. I'm a lawyer, I'm a sales guy, I'm a, a technologist, whatever. And one of the uh, antidotes to that in the encouragement to maybe focus differently was uh, a story about a group of people that got together, somebody that got people together, and for the first 90 minutes of their social interaction, they weren't allowed to ask or volunteer what it was they did. And then by the time that became revealed, the other people knew the individual a little bit better, maybe to understand the way in which maybe they approach their work versus just leading with the uh, assumptions maybe that came from what their job title was in response to that first kind of innocuous inquiry. And all of that led me back to a road that I've traveled before with you, which is a story about my mom being a deli manager for over 20 years for a large grocery chain and the fact that she never dreamed of slicing cheese for a living, but found purpose in her work. She really enjoyed what she did because it supported, helped her support her family, but also because she could interact with people in a helpful, supportive way, which is kind of who she is. So back to the idea of if you don't love what you do, I think the first option is to think about how it is that you might do what you do differently to feel more connected to that. And my guess is, frankly, my experience is that you can find that, make it better. Also, you can add things to what you do. It doesn't have to be just your formal work. You can volunteer, you can be part of another organization that fills that part of your soul. And then ultimately, if you're not feeling it where you are, I agree with the CEO. You should find a place where you can and do because ultimately really leaning into the work and being fulfilled by a way in which we spend a significant portion of our time is the point. So go do that. Be better, feel better, and make a better difference.